In today's video, I'll be giving you guys a tutorial of the Video Leap editing app. I'm going to be covering all the basics so that way when you finish this video, you can get started editing right away. If you're new to the channel, my goal is to help you make videos on your smartphone so you can grow an audience, help others, and make money doing what you love. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Now, let's begin this tutorial. Now I'll be doing this video from my iPad, just so that way I can have a mouse hooked up so I can show you where I'm clicking. But don't worry if you're using Android or an iPhone, it's gonna be the exact same editing process. It's just gonna be a little more cramped in since you're doing it on a phone compared to me on my iPad. So let's jump in. To start, we're just gonna click the plus button down here. And then we can add our videos and photos to our timeline. Uh, I actually have an album down here that I have all the videos I want to add and I'm just going to simply click on those and then click add to project to add it to the timeline and we can scroll through the timeline here with our finger and take a look at each of the clips we've added uh, if we want to change the position of a clip all you have to do is hold down hold down on the clip and then you can drag it to any position you want it let go and there we go, we have it in the spot we want. If we want to trim a clip, simply just click on the video and you can grab either side of the clip here with these arrows and just drag with your finger and you can trim the clip to the length that you want it. Now another way you can split clips, for example, let's say we want to take out something in the middle. What we can do is click the split button, which actually will cut the clip in half and make two separate videos. I can scroll ahead and click the split button again, which will split the clips in half. So now there's one, two, three clips. And then I can just click on whichever spot I don't want to be there. Click the remove button. And there we go. Now I have it split. And if I want to reverse a mistake, let's say I accidentally deleted something and I didn't want it deleted, I can go over here and there's a back button. So I can actually back up and reverse everything. Now we have no splits or anything deleted. It's all back to normal. So that's a very useful button over there. If we want to add more clips than we already have to our timeline, let's say you forgot to add something, you can actually go right over here to this plus button, click that, and you're back in your photos and you can add more photos or more videos to your timeline. But for now, we're just going to click X because we have all the videos that we want to use. If we want to crop in on a video, let's say we want to zoom in on this dandelion a little more, uh, I can do what I can do is click on the video. I can click over here, which is transform. And then I can use my fingers. I can zoom in. I can turn it. I can do whatever I want. I'm just going to zoom in over here on this dandelion because I like that. And then once I have it set up, it's already saved. I can just click off. And there we go. Now the video is cropped in on that area. If you want to add a transition in between two different clips, you'll see this little line here. That's actually the transition button. If we click on that, it'll give us the option to do a bunch of different transitions like dissolve. You could do a fade. You could do a fun zoom in transition. There's a lot of different transitions here that you can experiment with. You can also control the length of a transition. If you want that transition to slowly fade into the other clip, you can do that as well. If you want to add text to your video, all you have to do is really click the text button down here, double tap to edit, which we can now edit our text here. Now, once you're done adding your text, you can actually grab it with your finger and move it anywhere around the screen, which I'm just going to place mine down here. And down the bottom here, we have all our settings, which there's a lot of settings here. So you can control animation, for example, and we could have it our text fade in, which will look very nice. Then we can click this arrow over here to go back to our settings. And then we can also control the color of our text, the opacity, uh, whether you want a shadow behind your text. There's a lot of things to go through here. So go through, experiment, find something that you like. Now, if for some reason you do accidentally click off of your text and now you're no longer able to edit it, just click on the text spot again. It'll pull up all those settings. You can also crop the text and choose how long you want it to go on for, which we can adjust there. And then we can scroll over, we can click play and see that text effect in motion. 
If you want to add music to your timeline, well, first of all, there is a voiceover button. So if you're doing a voiceover video, you can click on that and record a voiceover over your video. Uh, otherwise, we can click on audio. And here you can choose music, sound effects, or loops, which we'll choose music. And then they have some built-in music right into the app here that you can use. And then you also have the option to add your Apple Music in. Uh, if you want to just get music off of YouTube, I actually did a video on how to add music to any video editor. I'll leave a link to that down below, and it'll go through all the steps on how to add music from YouTube. But here you've got access to just the basic music built into Video Leap. Now, Video Leap does come with some stickers that you can add to your timeline. So you click on stickers. They have a few different stickers you can put over the top of your videos if you'd like uh, but let's say you want to add a photo over the top of your video as your video is playing or maybe you want to do picture in picture have a video playing like you reacting to a youtube video or reacting to a TikTok. what you're going to then click is the mixer button when we click on this i'm going to leave my video editing and just go to my regular album of videos I can now click on any of these videos and add them to the timeline I can resize them with my finger and like if we were to do a react video we can move it over to the corner and have that go on and you can do all the same things if you want to trim that video you can control it there and move it around the timeline uh, and then you also have a lot of the same effects with the text effects where you're able to adjust settings, opacity, whether there's going to be an animation for this video, over a video, uh, etc. all here within the app. And this is the exact same way if you want to add a photo onto your video as you're talking, you can also add videos using the mixer button. If you want to add fun filters and color correction effects, you can click on the video and then go over to the filters button down here. And you can actually click through these, find something that you like. And then what you can also do is adjust the power of the filter here. So you don't have to go full blast. You can adjust how powerful that filter is. And then if you want, you can also go over to adjust and be able to adjust the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, etc. And get something looking really nice uh, for your video. Then when you're done with the project, all you got to do is click the export button, choose which resolution you want, save it to your timeline, and then you can send it off to TikTok or YouTube or whatever you're going to be posting with the app. Now, these are just the basics. There's a lot of advanced features that you can do and cool effects you can do within Video Leap. So I'll be producing a advanced editing tutorial. If it's made, you'll see it linked right here or down in the description. Uh, so click over there and watch that tutorial so that way you can improve your editing skills further. And I'll see you guys in the next video.